of Wonder by Anomalopia. Chapter 35 The God of Olympus. The father and the other girls knelt down next to the monstrous body of Sunset. They did everything in their power to save Sunset's life, no matter how vain their efforts were. But even if they had their magic, there was little chance that they could be able to save her from a wound. Without it, a cold realization dawned on them, and they found themselves breaking down into tears, while Sunset stared ahead with blank eyes. Finally, Maestro said with a very neutral turn, only for Hades to turn to face him. Finally, she is dead. Now, you can see how this world plays out just as you want it, Hades said. Idiot, this world has been far too contaminated by you or your wo and Wonder Woman's interference. Maestro spat at Hades, his eyes narrowed dangerously before he out let us sigh and released the anger. Watching Sunset die was more of a personal victory, you could say. There is glory in these small victories, after all. Conquest shook his head. Oh, boo, hoo, hoo. Oh, like a small victory. Whoopee! Yay! Bravo. This is me clapping very appropriately for you. Indeed there are. My throat then shuts to Hades as the darkness beneath the hood began to glow. Making Hades raise an eyebrow of surprise as the maestro went deathly silent. I've never seen you do that before. It is something to matter. It does not concern you. All that means is a new development has occurred on another reality. The maestro snapped at Hades before his whole body began to shimmer. It is time I left this reality. Aside from watching Wonder Woman and Sunset die, there has been nothing enjoyable or illuminating about this place. I disagree. Whenever Sunset and Wonder Woman uh, tra trained together and had quiet moments together, they were pretty dang good. It's just that when you got on to those other six losers, it became sucky. Especially not you. I shall not miss it. Hayes didn't blink as the maestro vanished into nothingness. But the moment the being was gone, he threw back his la head and laughed. His laughter terrified every single deceased soul and within the underground. But none of the girls acknowledged the god of the dead. They were too busy mourning. <laughs> Finally, that infernal, egotistical jackass is gone! <laughs> hey, he said with a sigh of relief. We're glancing over at the silent girls. A smile crossed his face, and he extended his arm towards them, placing his forefinger on his thumb. And with him finally gone, he and snapped his fingers with such force that the sound echoed across the fields in the dam. But the moment he did so, the hole within Sunset's chest repaired itself along with her clothes. Her eyes flashed with light before she sat up, taking a deep breath before she started to shiver. What the hell just happened? She stammered out. She stared down at her chest, which was perfectly healed. Her friends let out cries of joy before they all tackled her at once. But Sunset looked at her eyes towards the radiant Hades with confusion. How? Why? You're my world, Sunset. I desire who lives and dies out here. Hades said with a laugh. We're glancing back at the where Meister advanced. And why? Because I I had nothing against you. The only reason I killed you was to finally get rid of that idiot. I would have preferred to kill him, but I can't. So I'll sell for spiting him instead. I thought you promised... Yes, I promised I would kill you. I never promised you would stay dead. <laughs> he said with a laugh, before pulling out Diana's soul. Now then, I believe there's a second promise I must fulfill. Wait! Sunset stood up as he stood on side of legs. I was like a twilight and took one of her arms and draped them over her shoulders. Helping Sunset stare as he glared down the god of the dead. I want to adjust the deal. Promise me, you won't kill Diana after you bring back her and bring her to life. Ah, you've learned you have to be specific when dealing with a god. You've already shown you're far smarter than that supposed st studier of worlds. Cogwa sighed. Yeah, tell me about it. That guy is a loser! He said with another chuckle. <laughs> Very well, I promise I won't kill Diana unless she tries to stop me. But if she does, deal. Out the window. Hayes had slammed his hands to the ground and drew forth a body made out of clay that looked just like Diana. He did snatch her fingers, and her outfit, bracelets, lasso appeared on a clay body as well. 
Ainsen took the spear and plunged it into the heart of the clay body. Before taking a step back, the glow of light. Your mother created you from clay. Now I shall do the same. Diana, live. Clay figure took his first breath. As he says these words, the clouds to all fours. The clay turned to skin as Diana sucked in breath after breath. He smiled down wonderingly before fast in a flash of light. Diana! Sunset called out as she broke free of her friend's grasp and raced over to her teacher. It was bleak into fiery eyes. Sunset tackled Wonder Woman with a huge hug, but she barely moved the lady with her impact. You're alive! You're back! I... I am alive, that's much as certain. Diana muttered as she stood up as well, able to feel the strength of the gods flowing through her once more. She glanced down at her body to find that it was all just the way it happened before the battle with Sunset. Hades. Sunset, how am I alive? And why are we all... Realized Hades crossed Wonder Woman's face as he glanced around the chamber, terror crossing her face when she could not find its ruler. We traded the elements for your life, Sunset explained in a soft voice to Diana. Gazed down at her student with absolute terror flying in her eyes. It was the only way to save you! The only way to get you back at the maestro forced you to kill yourself. So, you gave your world's most powerful magic to the Lord of the Dead? Diana screamed at Sunset with disbelief. Yeah, we apologize for saving your life, bitch. Her tone surprising Sunset to the point where she took a step back. Sunset, I cannot believe that you would do that. Yeah, and I can't believe you were trying to actually grab your... Gra to take their grab magic to uh, save uh, Steve when the easy answer would have been to just kick Hayes in the balls, point. Of all the foolish, idiotic... I have to go. I have to get out of here. Why? Tanza asked weakly. Diana said nothing as she walked by her student. Before she could get to the door, the air girls placed themselves between the door and Diana. Out of my way! Diana demanded. You have no idea what Hades might be up to out there. I need to go before... An explosion rocked the entire underworld, knocking them all off her feet. Diana was the first one up as he raced to the windows. But she gazed up in terror, so he never thought she would feel. For all the souls of the underworld were being sucked into a vortex. A portal. Oh, God, no, not another portal in the sky. Even I'm getting annoyed by that trope. And on the other side of the portal, Diana could see Earth. Her Earth. Sunset, what have you done? Diana asked her student with terror. As she turned to face Sunset. I, I just wanted to. Sunset, I am so disappointed. Wonder Woman said with a shake of her head. The girls gasped while Sunset's heart shattered. None of them saying anything when Wonder Woman raised her head once more and faced straight towards the exit. I thought I had taught you better. I never thought you would do something like this. I mean, Clark would. Batman would. I mean, her only real problem is that she didn't go in with a backup plan. Which would have happened, that would have been better if we actually saw Sunset interact with the others, Twilight come up with a plan, Sunset actually using some of her brains. But this, as with all bad fics, do, does, lacks the word brains in the title. We apologize, but there's apparently no intelligence here. Well, I'm glad I did. Both the girls and Diana were struck down by this statement. Go, Sunset! Sunset. Diana slowly turned to face Sunset. It was glaring at the floor, the floor with her fists and knots. I'm glad I gave Hades the magic. Sunset. Diana actually disbelieved in every word. How can you be glad for that? Hades now has unspeakable power. It's taking the souls of the dead and bringing them to the world of the living. What? In the name of the gods could make you glad because it saved your life! Sunset screamed back at Wonder Woman, silencing her teacher. Yeah! Finally! Sunset! You got your backbone back! Hooray! Bunsai! Bunsai! <sighs> Good job! We finally got you your balls back now. Could you please give the other team, the rest of the girls, their their balls? I think they're missing them. I don't care if bringing you back to life gave Hades that power. I don't care that you think it was wrong decision. I don't care that you're disappointed with me! 
Sunset said, firing back at her soul. Because it saved you. And if that disappointment, your disappointment, is what I have to bear for saving you, then I can bear it! Sunset, there's more to this than my approval. What you have done is something you should have done right from the beginning! Hell yeah! Tell that woman off! Tell that woman off, Sunset! Of all possible, the team here seemed to grow colder at Sunset's words. Diana could only stare at a student with shock as Sunset forced herself to walk up to Diana, staring in the eyes of her own eyes, shining with the truth. There's one thing I've learned from being in the human world, is you never give up your friends, no matter how bad things look, or how high the risk. When one of them needs your help, you do everything in your power to help them! And you... You may have taught me how to fight, how to be the strong, how to live again. But they, Sunset says, he pointed to, to the girls, barely had any screen time with you, had barely any interaction, so thus this whole entire speech is actually rendered rather moot. So we what true magic was. Or we could pretend that you've had tons of development. I don't work. And ever since you came here, I ever since I discovered your reason for being brought here, Always disagreed with you for not wanting to save your friend. I wanted to, Diana roared back. But Sunset held her ground. But I would not risk you girls or your magic to restore him to life. The price was too high. No, Diana. But your friends and those you care about are in line. No price is too high. Sunset informed Diana before pointing to her friends. We paid the price of our magic to save you. I almost paid with my life as well. But I assure you, you were given the choice again. Each and every one of us would save you again and again, wouldn't we? Hmm. Again, according to the comments, there's a guy named Kebe Hero who says that this is Dr. Doom's philosophy. Can you tell me that to Superman who would gladly give up his superpowers to save Lois? Or Isagi? Hell, I know Guts would give up his, um... Strange if uh, if it Costco would be would be okay again. Um or Yang would do anything to save her mother's soul. You do know how this heroism works, right? It's not just Dr. Drew's philosophy. It's a lot of heroes. Only selfish people think like this. Why do you think Dr. Doom has a, is a good villain. Hmm? Mr. Keyblade Hero, try to keep up, Boobala. Oh, uh, yep. Of course. There are two. Naturally. Friends always help each other. Yes. See, Diana? Such an asked Wonder Woman, for a look of uncertainty on her face. Friends will do anything for each other. Even if we had to give magic to a psycho, Lord of the Dead. But now Hades has your power, and Hera help me. I do not know if I have the strength to stop him. Diana knitted with a shake of her head, since it smiled up at Wonder Woman before giving her another hug. Didn't you hear what I just said? That's what friends are for, Diana! To help you when you need to kick the crap out of a psycho, Lord of the Dead. Now, how about it, girls? You want to help Diana kick the hell out of death? The girls let out a bow cry as they raced towards Diana, who couldn't help but smile as he gazed at their confident faces. I will bring you with me. You're safer with me than down here. But promise me, each of you, that you'll leave the fighting to me. Diana asked him. We all nodded with their heads behind their backs. Diana tapped into her godly power to tap a hole into the underworld. Then took a deep breath as she clasped her bracelets together before walking through the portal. Afraid of what she could see on the other side. You know, this fake is making me start to agree with what what people say about turtles forever. It really does. It, it's making me think, oh, you know, maybe they had a point. Thanks, Vic. I never thought I would agree some of the people who complain about turtles forever, but thank you. It was worse than she could ever imagine. As Diana and the girl stepped through the portal. The very first sight that greeted their eyes was that trillions of souls crying overhead. The souls blocked out the light, and the sun that created black clouds it eternally covered the land. That is very really terrifying. Rainbow decimated, seeing the other girls moved a little closer to each other for comfort. 
That is not terrifying. This is terrifying. The girls turned to where Diana was looking to see dozens of stone statues lying in the area where they were standing. Diana, where are we? Claire sighed as with pure terror. As close to the top of Mount Olympus as I could get us. Diana informed the girls before she began to walk forward. If there was any place we would find Hades after he conquered the world, it would be here. But how could he have conquered the world already? Twy asked as seeing the girls follow Diana through the statues, cleansing them with fear. One of the statues was a huge man with fins on his head and arms, laying on the ground, impaled on his own triad. Poseidon. Tides moves as fast as Hades wants in the underworld. He probably said it to move slower than my world. So by the time I escaped, he would have already conquered the world. Diana explains he's looked up a large staircase made of bones. So he glanced down on those statues. Glow was sparring hit helmet, and a look of rage upon her face. I'm so sorry, Athena. I should have been here. Again, you know, a torn. On one time, this is something Sunset would do. On the other, I'm surprised he didn't actually try talking this over with her friends. By the way, guys, the main six are in this fic, right? Diana fall. Since the girls fall, Diana up a staircase. And we do occasionally step over statues of fallen gods. The Sunset named whenever they pass by them. Hermes, Hephaestus, Zeus. She whispered her sheer terror as she spied the king of the gods chained to the edge of a cliff, where a red lightning bolt struck him with King's eye. Seeing shivered at the thought of her, as she heard his screams, racing forward a little fast before tripping over another statue. Who? She asked herself as she gazed at the stone statue with poignant ears and a bat symbol on the chest. Are these gods? So I asked as she stepped past a stone being that was pointing a ring at an unseen foe. They all, I didn't learn about any of them, Rarity muttered as he walked past a stone human with a lightning bolt on his chest. It was frozen in stone in time. Hey, Diana? Picking as he gazed up at the faces of a stone being, not sure if half his face was covered in a mask or was mechanical. Oh, for crying out loud, again with the cyborg being part of the Justice League! Oh, son of a... I just... Why?! Why do we always want to leave out John Jones, huh? D d just why? You, you, you could have just... Uh, oh, I don't know. Just this once! Gave, gave us John Jones. Mm, d d just this once, please! Because, quite frankly, I feel like you guys are leaving him out and putting in Cyborg just because. All right. You, you want this guy to be there because he seems like the most popular one. And I had to ask, why not put in Jon Stewart? That's what the Justice League cartoon did. And guess what? The Justice League cartoon is freaking awesome! <sighs> Sorry. I lose my temper when I see that. I uh, responded with silence as he continued to climb. The girls stared concerned looks before they followed her. The group reached the top a few minutes later. Where a large circular platform was home to a beautiful garden that awakened, awaited them. For a brief moment, the girls were taken in by its beauty, before her eyes rested upon another statue in the center of the place. Come. The entrance to the peak of Olympus is right over there. She says he pointed to a cavern filled with light. She marched across the garden at a clicking pace. All the girls noticed that when she walked by this statue, she averted her gaze for a moment. Okay. What's important about this statue? Vic? Could, could you explain? Could, could you explain this one? So, if we could stand a chance, can we win? Plus, I asked the group. So, he walked by the statue, following Diana. You don't have a choice, sir, kid. Fail here, then not only will Diana's world be destroyed, but most likely ours eventually. Applejack says he tipped her hat to avoid looking at the statue. Only Rainbow Dad stood next to the statue as he passed it. Grace softened for a moment as he looked down upon it, and, for reasons she didn't know herself, pressed her hand against the statue for a moment. I can't help but wonder 
Who were you guys? So yes, the stone being with a keep and a large S upon his chest. Oh, it's Superman. Why is he in a flower garden? So he then raced down to the rest of the group who were standing in the entrance hall of the gods. Really? Does, does Clark? Really? Does Superman? Really? Does it, it was only Superman? Really? Um, shock? In a maze? Um, are you all ready? Diana asked as the girl so he drew her her basic blades from her bracelets. I never even missed this line. What? Look, I have a big battle in Fall of Starfleet Equestria Girls. My life is gonna be hell in the Equestria Girls story. So, no, never even a line. Alright, skipping the line. <laughs> At least you're being honest. Come on, Diana instructed. The group then walked through the entrance and emerged a moment later at the peak of the mountain. Magic. That's how we got here so fast. Wonder Woman told them before they could ask. She also glared at the once been the home of the gods. When twelve threads once stood, now there was only one. The throne of Hades. The sitting that topped the throne was the dark god himself. Where's Persephone? I I just now had this thought. But um this fic and a lot like it when they bring out evil Hades. And even the Disney version, which I love to death, seems to be really determined to leave out Persephone. We never see her. We never know what she's doing. I mean, does she have any disagreements that Hades does basically turn her mother into a lawn ornament? Is she right now chained to his throne, half naked? Eating more pomegranates? Darn this pomegranate addiction of mine! You see, right now I'm bed, what, looking at her what, looking at her sundial, and thinking, when is that boyfriend of mine? When's my husband going to get in here, in here and proceed to ride me like a rugged stallion? Me! <laughs> is she in the elusive fields having a vacation? Is she in the Bahamas? Did Hades give her her own personal piece of paradise? He said, here, babe. Oh, man, I wish Disney's Hercules actually did the Persephone myth. That would have been hilarious. I wonder if any fanfic for Disney's Hercules has actually done Persep did the Persephone myth. Because can you imagine James Woods actually practicing and doing, doing mother-in-law gags with that? Oi. I can't freaking believe my brother has come back. I'm gonna keep this on mine, because I'm curious now. Where is she? Hades. Wonder Woman said with Venom. Hey, Diana, blah, blah, blah. Wonder when you finally appear. Hades said with a laugh. Before rising from his throne, flying over the group. <sighs> like what I did with the world, it's finally the way it was supposed to be. Under my world. What happened to your promise? Promised only used a magic to improve the underworld. Dan warned up in Hades. That was my promise, and I fulfilled it. The dead now walked the earth. There's now plenty of free, empty space in the underworld. Hades and poor Diana will laugh. <laughs> I've done exactly as I would do. Plus a little more. You see, for now, the humans of Earth no longer have to worry about my arrogant older brothers, who would mess with them just for fun. There's only one god now. There's only Hades, Lord of Olympus. Hey, the Norse gods are canon in the DC Universe, you know. Wrong. He's glanced down at Diana, whose body radiated a crimson light that made Hades want to kill her then and there. There's still one more. There is last, one last god, goddess that opposes you. Wonder Woman let out a scream that would wake the dead as she crossed her arms. Starting for a helmet with ran horns on top of it, and a fur cap that was strained with the blood of countless wars. Diana threw her bracelets to the side, allowing her full godly power to consume her. She didn't bell as she glared up at Hades with solid white eyes. 
wrath of war flashing in her eyes. For that goddess is me, the goddess of war! Is there a requirement for when you become gods to become arrogant and become boastful and do over the top explanations in conquest? I want to know. I've never done it. For a moment, Hades didn't say anything as he stared down his niece. He smiled across his face before he lowered himself to the ground. Indeed, you're right. There is one last god I must be ready to he needs to agree before letting his own power flow. The elements shone with their defying light as he filled his body with their magic, creating a roar of peace and harmony that drowned out even the goddess of war. If you have any prayers, Diana, then save them, for God will not answer them. You are the one who'll need praying by the end of this, the goddess of war, for what you have done to my world, my allies, my students. You will pray for me for a quick and painless end to your existence, but it won't come. That is my promise to you. So you say, Diana. I must admit, I enjoy the irony to this. And I... Bring, 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 bring! Damn. Huh? Oh. Hey, Persephone, sweetie. I... How's it? How's the Bahamas? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm, I'm busy. I'm right now about to kick Diana's ass. Uh-huh. Tools. Love you too, sweetheart. Click. Okay, let's do this! He says he reaches the ground, pulled out a scythe, filled with the power of the elements. Down he roared as he created two portals, reached to them, pulling out a double-sided double axe and a blade that belonged to her late master. For today is the day that death finally ascends to being king of all the gods. What a fair way to ring in the age of death than with the bloodiest war. Chapter 36. Let war and death. The earth itself shook with fear as the goddess of war collided with the god of Olympus. A scythe class of axe, the shockwaves created blows that tore apart the top of Olympus. Diana fell, fell to furious mats as she caused her blade against Hades' scythe, but the god barely faltered under her power. Instead, he smiled before pushing Diana back, driving the end of his scythe into the floor at his feet. A call of rainbow energy erupted from beneath him. You could not put the best me, my dear Diana. He is informed Diana as he faltered under the unrelenting power of the elements. The power of the elements is far greater than any power, even that of the gods, and with its power added to my own. But Diana refused to believe Hades' words, whilst he used her axe to slice through the rainbow burst, hurling herself into the storm of magic with Ares' blade held high. You think yourself invincible with this power? Diana bellowed while to slice slashed down with all her might. Hades let go of the scythe and held up a hand to grab the blade out of the air. Holy the blade, Diana tried to force it through him. You're no different than other villains I have faced, leaving yourself untouchable until we come along and knock you down to size. Indeed, you're right, Diana. In the past, multiple foes of yours will lead to have won before the victory was truly secured. But in this case, I'm different. Hades laughed as he grabbed the scythe and swung at Diana. Bravely tucked him beneath the swing. Yet, despite not hitting his intended target, the display still cleaved to the clouds, and a wave of souls circled over overhead, allowing a white crimson of hue to shine down from the equally crimson moon. Crimson! Crimson! No, you friggin' to cut! We are sorry, but the author apparently has a mental breakdown. I have chosen not to claim the rest of this world, not until I have faced you and sent you to my realm once and for all! He's a born Diana as their blades glide once more. I have bested the gods. Turn your precious justice league to stone. The titans are nowhere to be found. None who opposed me were able to defeat me. But I still did not consider my victory complete. Not until I faced you one last time. Now you are truly a fool. Diana bellowed it while she again class of Hades. She both her sword and axe, hurling the god of Olympus backwards. She followed up her momentary advantage by slamming her blades into the floor. Crane cracks filled with fire that erupted around where Hades stood. The god of Olympus let out a roar as the flames began to consume him. For if you were not one, then you would not revive me. For even you must have known that I would not stop until you were cast down once more. Yeah, Diana, I knew full well you would seek me out. I knew full well that our blades would cross. The sight clicked through the fire that was surrounding Hades, 
fancy from existence. The feeling that the god was smiling. I would not allow your death to be at the hands of the maestro. Warrior, your sister yourself does not desire to die by a coward's hands. You are going to be slain by me. And only when you are truly dead at my feet can I claim my true rule over the earth. That's not going to happen, Diana bellowed before clutching the ass close to her chest, muttering words to it. As he lunged at Hades with his eyes blazing with war, strengthening her as he charged her soldier into the god of Olympus. Despite her power in the elements and her own godly might, Hades was still pushed back by the raw power of Wonder Woman. She then planted her feet with her war, lifting Hades off the floor and hoisting him out into the air. I'm not dying! Not today! There are too many lives on the line. Lives I will not surrender to you! It's not my time! Click, click. No! This fight doesn't deserve it! Diana bellowed as he spun around, slammed Hades into the floor of Olympus. The decorated floor once had been forged by the gods themselves, scattered under the force of Hades. The damage became even grayer when Diana slammed her boot into Hades' chest, pushing him further and further into the floor. That's the fullest way of thinking, Diana, Hades said with a laugh. Before he fans into the darkness, Diana glanced around where he could be, before she glanced down slowly to see the sight around her throat. Because all lives eventually succumb to me, even yours. Hades ripped rip the scythe back with all of his might before, through, through her life of fighting. Diana managed to bring her sword up in time to block, take the scythe slash that would cleave her head from body. The blade was not spared from the god's wrath. As the scythe cut through the weapon of war and sliced it in two, Diana backed away as she stared down at the severed sword, rage flooding through her veins at what had become of Ares' weapon. Even the weapons of the gods have come to me as well, Diana. Hades told her as he sold her his scythe, landing next to the statue of Zeus. He placed his hand upon his brother for a moment, lightning crackled along his hand. You possess knowledge of Athena, but you should also know how this ends. You are a single goddess, a powerful one, and yes, but you're all alone. I defeated the entire pantheon with this power. I defeated the Justice League. Even if you are war, even if you are Wonder Woman, I've beaten both sides that you belong to. How can you by yourself hope to defeat me? The same way I do everything. Try to take over the world! The pinky, the pinky, and the Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman. Diane whispered as he tossed what remained of Ares' sword to the side and grabbed hold of her lasso. With faith, with love, and fighting with every fiber of my being, you wish for death, I'll give you war. October 19th, when it falls. As the convo crockery and broken rebar began to settle, Sunset Shimmer, oh, uh, no, they're not going away. No, come on! I think everybody here would rather be listening to Seven Days of Sunny June than this. Nope. They want to hear this. <laughs> no! We have to help her! Sunset says he rose up from behind the fallen pillar, where she and the other girls had been hiding with Di Diana Battle of Hades. Yet the moment she stood up, six sets of hands grabbed hold of her and forced her back down. Are you out of your freaking mind? Twilight practically screamed at Sunset. Look, we gotta do something! We've been practically useless this entire fic! What thing have we done? Name one good thing that we have actually done in the story to actually move the plot along! We have done nothing, Twilight! Absolutely nothing! All right, we have done zilts, nada. We are not main characters in this story. It's all been about Wonder Woman. This has not been about us. This has been about her and her alone. It's her story, her plot. Same as the plot forward. And we are just to be sitting back here and watching like little puppies. Quite frankly, I'm sick of it. The moment she screamed, she covered her mouth and peeked over the top of the pillar and would see if they'd been discovered. But the guy, guys were far too preoccupied with each other to even gaze at seven girls that's telling us it's a glance. <sighs> you cannot go out there. If you go out there, yada, 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 kill the moments, body, body, blah. Not killed, they're still alive. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, whatever. Whatever, I can feel it. They're in pain, screaming, but none of them are dead. Why are the frack are we even here? That's what I would like to know. Author, why are we here? I mean, we're obviously not going to move the plot forward. All this is is going to be about me grabbing the scythe, so why not just get to the next chapter and be done with it? We all know what's going to happen. 
Well, wait, now where this is going to happen, why not just let me handle it since I'm the only one that's worth a damn? Why then, I, Sunset muttered to herself, about as bored as I am. She gazed down from behind the pillar once more. Hayes is clearly stronger than any of the gods, and even the members of the Justice League. He clearly hates all of them. So, why are they unleashing them alive? Why not kill them? The Justice League? One rarity asked, before the sound of metal striking bell blasted apart the area. The girls took cover as bits of tops of Mount Olympus came running down. That's what Hades called beings trapped in stone. Diana also said she's a member of the Justice League. Her plan is the strongest defenders, Sunset informed the girls. I need to get out there. I need to help Diana any way I can. If that's what Hades did to their strongest defenders, what chance do you have? Hey, you better do what... You better just be a good girl and let the big, strong hero handle it. You're right. I mean, this author obviously doesn't care about us, so... Anybody up for cards? And so did they play cards for the rest of this fic. Verity managed to come through with a full house. And Rainbow Dance managed to come through, through with a freak, with an awesome... Four, four, four of a kind. And then, Diana, seeing that they were trying to get out of this plot, quickly ran in as a blur out of the sky and sent them next to one of the statues. Diana? Sunset asked as she was the last one snatched out of the sky, looking over to the eyes of Diana that held a rage unequal to any that came before it. Sunset looked at the resident of Diana to see that her body was bleeding from multiple slices and impalements. You're hurt. You need our help. Let us go! Diana bellowed with such power that the clouds around the two were blown away by her voice. This battle is far too dangerous for any of you to be close. Stay here, where it's safer. So that way you can stay out of the plot. But you need help. You can't beat this guy by yourself. Not even the heroes of your world or the gods of Olympus could do it when they were working together. Sunset argued, but the rays of war that flooded through Diana became clear that Sunset wouldn't be of any use. You promised me that you would not get into any battles with beings that far outclassed you. This is all starting to sound familiar. This 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 is all start. Excuse me one sec. I I need to go see something. Um, because uh, I I'm pretty positive this story sounds that 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 line sounds very very familiar and very very similar in style to somebody. Well, let's see who it is. Mike in. Hello. What are you doing here? Ruining some of your fan uh, thinking room happy to read! <laughs> oh my god, you truly are a scam. How did I know that Mike is behind almost every time almost every time I read a stupid lie like that? Diana instructed Sunset as he started to descend where she had placed the rest of the girls. Now promise me, you'll stay here and you won't- Arg. Diana roared as Hades ripped his sight through her chest. Diana! Sunset screamed as Diana let her go. Sending the a girl publicly towards where the others were. By good fortune, Sunset managed to land in a pool of water next to the statue of the S. Yet when she surfaced a few moments later, she gazed over the sky to see where Wonder Woman was not impaled on the end of Hades' scythe. Yep. You see, Diana, with- all, all your power and might eventually fell to me as well. Don't worry, Diana. I'm not merciless. I shall do to you what you've done to your family and friends, and you can join them standing at my feet, crushed beneath my boots. Sunset watched as Diana roared with fury and pulled herself off the scythe, flying back away from Hayes as blood seeped from her wound. But then Diana let out a furious roar, and the wound began to heal itself. But then Sunset glanced over at Hades and found the god of war of Olympus smiling to himself. Of course, Diana, being the cost of war does give you an advance every time you are in a battle, especially against a foe like me. He said loud enough that Sunset was able to hear, but while war fuels you, it also adds a limited power to one such as myself. For how can you have war? Oh, without death! As you begin to battle once more, sent into the sky bathed in blood with those that have fallen, Sunset wants to her out of sight, where she pulled herself out of the water and staggered towards the stairs that led down to the mountain. So she glanced down, down to see her friends racing up towards her. <sighs> you girls are still here? I thought you left. Saito only smiled. 
look, this is the first time I've ever been in such a stupid fic like this where we're practically useless. I want to experience it for the first moment. We just have to get killed. We don't even have our magic. Or maybe we do. I mean, you could all see this coming, right? The girls all gave such a look of concern as he said this. But see, ignore them as he started to think. The reason that he's left the gods alive, the heroes, perhaps even us, wasn't because he didn't want to kill us. Perhaps, at least, when he almost his power, he couldn't. I don't get it, but, you know, this probably would help if I saw the first movie. Think about it. Why didn't Hayes just have us killed after he took our magic? He got done so with ease. Was it really because he had nothing against us? Or was it because the elements still need to be linked us to use? Do the gods still have to be alive for them he had to use their power? Is that the reason they are still alive? What are you saying? I'm saying he doesn't have the full power of the elements. Only what we gave to him, which might mean, Sunset muttered as he held her hands to her chest, trying to find a part of her, the true part of her, that her element was derived from. She held in her hand, a small flame burned within it, that we're not out of this fight yet. Yeah, we are. Okay, so we are, but give me a little hope here. Even though she was a goddess of war, Diana could still feel she was reaching her limit as she raised her axe to inflict another blow from Hades' scythe. Yet, when the scythe struck the axe, it shattered as it had previously done Ares' sword. Diana roared with fury as she tossed what remained the axe away and cracked her lasso at Hades. But all the god Olympus did was smile at her rage. For it was not a bloody rage. It was an exhausted rage. A rage on the last leg. A tired rage. It seems that this battle's coming to an end. He's before Diana as he grabbed the lasso and yanked with all his might, pulling Diana towards him. As he was within range, he drove his element field fist into her face, shattering her nose and snapping her head back. She followed up with a knee to the gut that doubled Diana over before elbowing her into back, sending her hurling to the ground far below and Olympus at the speed of the sea. Diana created a crater when she crashed to the ground, but as Hayes descended next to the crater, he smiled at the bloody goddess as he slowly rose back to her feet. Or as powerful as war is at the height of battle, even it knows that all war ends in death. Hayes fizzed as he reached his height to the sky. The power of Zeus came crashing down and struck his scythe. Before Hayes swung it to the side, he plunged into the ocean next to the both of them. The fencing test was his own brand of hellfire, which made the scythe glow with an ethereal power that existed amongst both the living and the dead. So, I ask you this, Diana. Do you still have a chance to win? Di of course, Diana spat. Hayes smiled in response before he swung his scythe towards her with a hell-raising roar. Diana grabbed the lasso and pulled it hot. Before lifting it to intercept the blow, the scythe slashed down on the lasso for a brief moment into death class. Then the scythe cleaved the lasso in two. Diana screamed an explosive magic and rushed it from the lasso and hurled her backwards. She landed it hard on her back and skidded to a halt a few moments later. But she secretly sat up and gazed down at the lasso of truth. It had been severed in two. Gods fall, heroes lose, and it seems that even truth is no more. <laughs> now I can truly say, the world belongs to the dead, and now you are going to join them. Doodles!